Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the second week of April 2022. Actress Catherine Hayes died March 25, 2022, in Fairfield, Connecticut, at the age of 87. She starred in As the World Turns as Kim Sullivan Hughes for almost 40 years, one of the longest starring actors in the show's history. Hayes is also being remembered for starring as a mute alien healer in a classic episode of Star Trek The Original Series. Actor and comedian Gilbert Gottfried died April 12, 2022, of a long-standing heart condition at the age of 67. He was known for his abrasively screechy voice, which he used hilariously in voice roles including Iago the Parrot in Disney's Aladdin. Gottfried is being remembered as one of several iconic stand-up comedians who have sadly died young in recent months, including Bob Saget and Norm MacDonald. Holocaust survivor Gerda Weissman Klein died April 3, 2022, at her home in Phoenix at the age of 97. She was profiled in the Oscar winning documentary One Survivor Remembers, based on her memoir All But My Life. Klein is also being remembered as an author of children's books who founded a nonprofit to educate students about the importance of citizenship. Football player Rayfield Wright died April 7, 2022, after a severe seizure at the age of 76. He was an offensive tackle with the Dallas Cowboys in the 1970s, helping lead his team to two Super Bowl victories. Wright is being remembered as a Pro Football Hall of Famer and a Cowboys legend. Actor and martial artist Jimmy Wong Yu died April 5, 2022, at a hospital in Taipei, Taiwan. He died after a long illness at the age of 79. He was a legend of martial arts films, starring in classics including One-Armed Swordsman and The Chinese Boxer. Wong is being remembered as an influential figure who inspired generations of martial arts filmmakers and actors. Football player Dwayne Haskins died April 9, 2022, in South Florida. He died in a traffic accident at the age of 24. He was a standout quarterback at Ohio State, where he set many records in his single starting season. Haskins is also being remembered for his NFL career. He was signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers at the time of his death. Actress Kathy Lamkin died April 4, 2022, after a short illness at the age of 74. She was a scene stealer in No Country for Old Men, playing a trailer park manager who stands up to a psychopath. Lamkin is also being remembered for her creepy performance as the Tea Lady in the 2003 remake of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Golfer Shirley Spork died April 12, 2022, in Palm Springs, California, at the age of 94. She was one of the founders of the LPGA, and she became a prominent teaching pro who coached generations of golfers. Spork is being remembered as a Hall of Famer who had a profound influence on women's golf. Rapper Archie Eversole died April 13, 2022, at the age of 37. He was best known for his 2002 hit, We Ready, which became a popular game day anthem for teams from high school to the pros. Eversole is also being remembered for United We Conquer, his theme song for the Atlanta United soccer team.
Bodybuilder Cedric McMillan died April 12, 2022, of a heart attack at the age of 44. He was a leader in his sport who won the 2017 Arnold Classic. He is being remembered for his aesthetic physique, a throwback to the earlier days of bodybuilding when competitors were leaner than they tend to be today. McMillan was a U.S. Army Sergeant First Class who served as an instructor. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of former state delegate William S. Horn. Flags in Alaska have been lowered to honor the memory of former representative Charles G. Anderson, Jr. Flags in Washington have been lowered to honor the memory of retired state Supreme Court Justice Mary Elizabeth Fairhurst. Flags in Nebraska have been lowered to honor the memory of Elwood Volunteer Fire Department Chief Darren Crawl. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of Salt River Pima Maricopa Fire Department Firefighter and EMT Brendan Basset. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Jerry Lee Hancock Sr., the former mayor of Mitchell. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Town and Country Fire District Lieutenant Philip Weigel. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Fifteen years ago this week, author Kurt Vonnegut died after taking a fall at home at the age of 84. Fifteen years ago this week, singer Don Ho died of heart failure at the age of 76. Singer Bunny Whaler was born 75 years ago this week. He died in 2021 of complications of a stroke at the age of 73. Actor Omar Sharif was born 90 years ago this week. He died in 2015 of a heart attack at the age of 83. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.